I've been looking at lightning a little bit lately, trying to understand how it works. And I made some progress, I think, but I certainly would not declare myself to be an expert on the subject, a full-blown fulminologist. Even they don't completely understand lightning. Lightning is hard to study because it's terribly, forbiddingly dangerous and absolutely capricious. There is no way of predicting when and where it will occur, and once it does happen, it is similarly not possible to know exactly where the lightning will strike. When the so-called plasma channel for the lightning strike is created, it does not follow a straight path, but instead branches off or angles away, zigzag. It does this because of many variables which combine to make the resulting lightning bolt an enormous variable in itself. This reminds me of quantum mechanics, something else I don't understand. It's an attempt to explain the world that results in a theory in which you can't tell the cake from the icing, matter from energy, or a particle from a wave. But if I may hazard a pure speculation, I believe that quantum mechanics, as it studies an electron's journey from point A to point B, states that at any specific time, the position of the particle can be expressed only as a probability. The exact location cannot be known. So the electron might be said to complete its journey much as a bolt of lightning would. It gets from here to there all right, but it's impossible to predict in advance exactly <coughs> how it will do that. So I'm hoping that it might be true, even if in a very limited way, that the path of a charged particle and a lightning strike are similar. It seems that it might be so, since both phenomena depend upon the movement of charged particles. The scale of size obviously differs. What I'm thinking about is that both of these theories, for lightning and the path of a charged particle, seem to replicate the structure or progress of human life. When I look at my own life and the lives of others whom I know, I very rarely see movement straight from one thing to another. So many variables intervene, some foreseen, others not, some formidable, others minor, and as a person advances, they often do so in a highly unusual, unexpected, and unpredictable way. We shift, accommodate, are blocked. So we go off in another direction, which becomes a detour that may have detours of its own. And I'm reminded of the mathematical concept of the fractal, which is something else I don't understand. But I believe they are equations which, if plotted out, produce a jagged branching effect, zigzag, rather like lightning, or the movement of a single charged particle. The shortest distance between two points may be the straight line. But... <clears throat> but nature seems to prefer the zigzag. I think there is something called chaos theory in which somehow randomness and order merge. Like particle and wave, they are two ways of looking at the same thing. The order in the world is built on it being fundamentally random, which is, to say the least, a challenging way of looking at things. If our lives are like this, Staggering like a drunkard down a long dark alley, skittering like a water bug on the surface of a pond, if we have little control over what we do as opposed to what we wish to do, if intent and result are mixed, does this intimidate us and leave us powerless to direct our lives? It could, or we could be like Charlie Parker, the jazz musician, and jazz has that unpredictable flow in its improvisation. It was that musical fulminologist Charlie Parker who said, Don't be afraid, just play the music. Or Yogi Berra who said, When you come to a fork in the road, take it. And when the big storms came to Texas, everyone ran and scrambled for cover, but not Pecos Bill. He wrote that lightning and wrote it, got the ride of his life and lived to tell about it too. Essentially, that is the choice we are given by life. So brief, so quick, so quirky, so unpredictable. We can try to duck it, or we can ride it out. Put another way, life is like the flight of a butterfly. Chaos theory gave us the famous butterfly effect. So consider for a moment the butterfly, its flight. Zigzag, once again. We cannot pin it down. And when we do, to study it, we have the butterfly, but not its flight, which is life itself. <coughs>